Good afternoon. Today I'm just wondering about something I just want to talk about. You see, sometimes me, I don't understand we Ghanaians. I just don't understand us. Okay? I don't know whether we are those Egyptians that uh, Moses was dealing with or the Pharisees that Jesus was dealing with. I don't understand. I don't understand we Ghanaians. I don't even I don't understand we the Africans. Okay. I don't understand us. When the president was about to announce the lockdown, people were complaining. People were complaining that why? They don't have food to eat. Some don't have, don't, don't have food to eat. Okay, some people will suffer. There's people, some people even don't have water. Those things, okay. And yes, so we're able to go to the lockdown. We're able to go to the lockdown for three weeks. Okay? For three weeks. You are saying that before the lockdown, the, the cases that we're having was, I think, uh, let's say, 30-something. Okay? And now that the case is more than, let's say, almost 1,000, now the, 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 the president has lifted the ban. No! See, sometimes uh, put yourself, okay, in somebody's shoe. Do you know how some people are suffering to eat or they suffer to eat in the three weeks lockdown that we were in? Okay, do you know how some people were suffering to eat in that three, three, three weeks lockdown? Okay, is it like the statistics they were like about only let's say 15 to 20 percent of population of Ghana, okay, can afford to buy food and eat? Okay. Or they can buy food and eat maybe three weeks or a month. They can still eat the food. Okay, about, about let's say, 80 to 70%. Okay, they do how to mouth work in Ghana here. See, let me tell you, my dear ones. People, those people that are saying the lockdown, now he, he has lifted the bounds, so the, 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 the cases are high and the president wants to kill us and those things and why the case. You see, let me tell you, hunger. Hunger can kill a person or hunger can kill somebody, okay? Just a second. As soon as you faint, you are hungry. As soon as you faint, within some minutes, you will die. Hunger for you, okay? You feel hungry, okay? As soon as you faint, you faint, you fall down. Within some minutes, you will die. Hunger for you. By this virus, okay, this vi even if this virus catch you, okay? Even in this virus catch you, what the professors and the experts are saying that, okay, you can even recover. Okay, some people have gotten serious malaria, TB, tuberculosis and those things and serious illness, okay, they were able to survive. You can survive, you can survive in, in, in diseases or death sickness, but you cannot, you see, you cannot survive in hang, hunger. I'm telling you, let's, let's, let's be real, let's, let's have a soft heart, okay. I said, is it someone was during the lockdown? Someone just needed a 10 CD, okay? 10 CD, 10 CD for a day to survive. 10 CD, just 10 CD. The person's like, even if you can get me 5 CD, I don't have any money on me, I'm hungry. Even if you can send me just 5 CD, I'll be okay. 5 CD, oh, someone in Ghana here. And you're expecting the president to still be, uh, put us in lockdown for three weeks, for two weeks. Okay, for three, for two weeks, people will die. So many people will die with hunger. I'm telling you. Okay, sometimes maybe you, you are home, mommy is there, daddy is there, parents are there, or maybe you have food at home, you eat and you sleep, you have food, okay, Gary is there, Wache is there, Benku is there, there is food at the fridge, okay. They store food. Stuff, food stuff in the fridge that you can eat anytime. Okay, so you feel okay. That no, the lockdown is okay. Let's enjoy the lockdown. But someone who is sleeping in the kiosk, someone who doesn't have money, who doing hand, hand to mouth job every day. How do, do you do you do you do you concern about that person? Do you think about that person? Do you really think about the person's life? Someone who do hand to mouth every day before he eat. You want that person to also be in the lockdown for another two weeks or three weeks, so you should go to one month lockdown. No. Let's let's be human beings here, okay? It's different from being a human being and different from being a human being. Yes, there's two different: a human being and being a human. Let's be human being here, 
Okay. Strategy say you see the pe- my research that I've done, okay, this look uh coronavirus, okay. Per research in Ghana here, okay. Now they say they've done all the contact uh, contact tracing, okay. They've done all the contact tracing, okay. So they're able to hook up, okay, hook up the those people that they came down foreigners, okay. So let's say uh, for instance, okay, you see a snake, okay, and they say once you've cut the snake, if if you've cut the head, okay, that's it. But even if you cut the snake tail, okay, there's still a danger, okay. So the government and the and the health workers, okay, they are trying to, let's say, hold the head of those people that they came, those foreigners, okay, that they came to Ghana. They trace them, okay. So now they've been able to achieve, let's say, ninety eight percent of that. And once they're able to achieve that, you still want us to still be in the lockdown. For what reason? That the president wants to kill us. The president wants to kill us, like how? Some countries are having more than 2,000 and 5,000 cases, and they are not having lockdown in their country. Read and do your research. 2,300, uh, uh, more than 300,000 uh, uh, cases, corona cases, but they've not done lockdown. They are doing uh, contact tracing. Ghanaians, we talk too much. I don't know whether we are those Egyptians that Moses was dealing with, or whether we are the, uh, 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 what's the name? The Pharisees that Jesus Christ was dealing with. Everything Ghana will talk, Ghanaians will talk. Be inside. Why, President, you, don't, you want us to die? You don't want us to eat? You don't want us to go out? Now, come out. Why, the President wants to kill us? Why? It's too much. You see, it's, it's, it's too much. Ghanaians, it is too much. Okay, this lock, this lockdown that he has lifted is very very good, because the president got to know that okay, those people that they are suffering okay, majority are suffering from the lockdown. Some don't get food to eat. Somebody has to go out and beg for money before the person will eat. And you expect that person is still being still being locked down for one month. Why? Let's have hearts. Why? Okay. So all we have to do is what? We have to pray. Now, the presence that gives us our life, okay? Each one for himself, God for us all. You understand? Each one for himself, God for us all. So protect yourself. That's it. Now protect yourself. Okay? Protect yourself from what? Getting the virus. That's what the president has said. Okay, me, the president has done very good work. He has done something very easy. Fabulous. Amazing. The president think, of, think ahead. The president and the health workers and the expert, they think ahead. Okay? If you are if you still be in the lockdown for let's say a month continuously, okay, for a month, people that they will die with hunger. It will be more than people that they will get a virus. I'm telling you, people are suffering to eat. People are some people are suffering to eat. You, you are home, you get food to eat and you sleep. You get food to eat and you sleep. So you want to enjoy the lockdown. Someone who don't even who suffer to get water to drink. Okay? This lockdown, some people were eating once a day. I'm telling you, this lockdown, some people were eating just once a day. Okay, they are managing the food. They were eating just once a day. You are in the lockdown, you eat in the morning, you eat in the evening, you eat in the afternoon, and you eat sweet things. So you expect the president to still continue the lockdown for you. And you're not thinking about your brother, you're not thinking about your sister. You're not thinking about somebody who's suffering. Let's have hearts. Let's have hearts. Okay, so now we have to what? pray. Pray to God, okay? Pray to God that this lockdown that the president has lifted, okay? It will, it will, be, it will be good, but don't wish evil. Don't pray that, hey, I pray that the case will go high. Me, they pray that the case will go high so that the, the president will see that he has done a mistake. Or the, 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 they have done a mistake. If you wish evil for your country, my dear, you are in a country, it will affect you some. If you are wishing evil for the country, you are in the country, and it will affect you some. So just pray. Be positive-minded. We are praying that this thing will go. Okay? As the, the, the president has lifted the band, okay? We are praying that what, the case will even come down. Yeah, let's pray, okay? Be positive-minded. Be positive-minded for once. Being positive does not cost you anything. So just be positive. Because your mind, no matter how you think, so shall it be. If you think positive, it will be. If you think negative, it will be. Wish good for your country.
Ghanaians complain too much. Ghanaians, we complain too much. We complain too much. Whether good or bad, we complain. Good or bad, we complain. Do you think the president can share food for the whole Ghana? No! The president cannot ever share food for Ghana. Even, the, even you see, Ghana here, we don't even have, know, we have our data. We don't, uh, see, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know appropriation here. They just guess 35 million, 20 something million. We don't have the specific data for the population of Ghana. We don't have. If you go to this advanced country, something like US, okay, US can, let's say, US can, let's say, target, let's say, a whole Accra, okay, a whole Accra, US can target and they can have the data, the number of people in Accra. If you go to US, like US, for instance, so if US is say they are come to share food or money to the citizen or in the community, they know because they have the data. By Ghana here, they don't even know the number of people in Accra here or in the community. They don't know. So you don't have to compare yourself to the, 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 the advanced countries. Let's pray. Okay, now everything belongs to God. God is in control. He has still been in control and he is still in control. He will help us. He will deliver us. So let's pray. Let's pray as we are out of the lockdown. Let's pray that the, what, the, the, the virus or the cases will come down. But it won't go up as we are watching with your able mind. Let's pray and God will listen to us. Okay, because the experts, they know more than me and you will know. The health workers, they know more than we know. So we can't we can give them the, 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 you can't give them the decision that they shouldn't have done this, they shouldn't have done this. What do you read? What do you study? That you want to uh, detect for them. Ah, let's be sensitive small. Let's be sensitive when you think about somebody who don't have food to eat, who cannot afford a daily meal, uh, uh, three times, three times what, meal a day. You, you can eat three times or four times a day in this lockdown. Someone just eats just one day. Someone who eats just a day and sleep when we're in the lockdown. And you're expecting, you're expecting that person to still be, continue being in the lockdown. For what reason? Do you care about your brother? Do you care about your sister? Thank you for watching. Okay, let's be sensitive and let's pray. May God bless us and may God bless our nation, Ghana. This one too will pass away. Amen.